Hey guys, it's Logos here with a new series called Building with Logos. And you'll see that I'm on the Crafting Ages server if you ever saw my first video. And yeah. So in this episode, we will be building with this brewery right here. Now the brewery's already built along with this wall in the back. But I want to improve it and make it better. I'm thinking about making a small little ale building or warehouse right in front of this. Something like that. And a way to load up like large ale, ale carts that come by. Which will be something part of my town. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll be right back, back with you guys when I have a setup. I thought this was uh, as good a place as any to start making a bridge over going the path that's going to be right here. Uh, I'm going to have supports like right around this area and there's going to be a top area around here. I don't know if you can imagine it but uh, I'm going to get started. In the series a lot of the building will be on camera. If you don't like on camera stuff, you can skip around or stuff like that, but not all of it's going to be on camera, so don't worry too much if you don't like it. So it's going to be like, uh, actually, I want to move this back a little because I want to give, actually, never mind, never mind, I can extend the path a little bit. Um, so I'm going to cut it out like right here. And pop up. And I want this to be four blocks like that. So get that. Mm. Oh, where are the stone brick stairs? There you are. Right here. Four blocks. Alright, so we go this way. Now I'll have to cut off this little tree here. We can cut it out with we'll in it. Um, uh, set zero, and we can go right here and build the path real quick. I'll be right back, and we're gonna make it so that these ale carts have a place for ale to be dropped down from. So for that, we're going to extend this like this um, one more and over here and we'll put this here all under here will be supported with maybe a little tunnel going through here in a path so let's build that right now one two oh. one two one sort of like that I guess yeah it looks nice so I'll do it on this side oh. okay one and one two so that kind of gives it a curve to it and we want it to seem more supported, so I'll use stone brick. And right here. And I'll do it on this side too. And right down here. And we'll also want to use a fence. And we'll go like this with it. So it seems like it's a really supported structure. Uh, hard to place fences sometimes. Um, and sort of like this. And I'll be right back when I'm done with the fences. 
I got that done and I put stairs under it to hide it a little bit and make it look more supported and yeah so on this side we'll just use oak wood planks and go across like this um, That's it? Yeah. Okay. And... Hmm. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do the roof part. Hmm. So, maybe... I don't want it to look like a large part of the building. More like a kind of pathway going over it. Uh... So I'm going to need some slabs, oak slabs. Um, and I'm going to go across like this. And I'll make it look a little bit, the roof look more supported, but not too supported. The trick to building is that you need to find a way to have a perfect balance between the looks and how supported it is and the support really helps to how realistic it looks the more realistic something looks it appeals to you more and makes it look better so that's why supported buildings always tend to look better than a building that's supported by like a too high cobblestone pillar or something neat or like just this one line of logs it wouldn't look good without that extra support to it so I'm gonna make it sort of like that and out too and this part right here is gonna be right here is going to be open a little Actually, I want that to be slab stain. Um, and, uh, no, no, it's on, no, it's right here. And these. This is to sort of make it look like they're being kept from falling. Well, they'll still be able to pour stuff. And you'll see what I mean in just a second if you don't understand. Put that right here. Okay. So. Hmm, how do I want this? I want to make it sort of look. I mean. I guess you could say like a hopper or something like from the game so I'm gonna get an iron and sort of make cauldron thing but it goes into one spigot and this will be supported in a minute so alright so I want this like this This is going to be a little bit difficult. Actually, if I did this, it would look like it will be able to pour. Huh, I have to make it so that there's a way to make it look like it can't pour. I'll be right back when I figure this out. And I went a little above and beyond what I was going to do. I decided to create the cart. I also did this. It looks like it's kind of wrapped around this and it keeps this from covering the flap right there so I went ahead and built a cart under it so people actually know what it is and then I put Richard and Bob here yeah so yeah it looks pretty cool and uh, next things next is the warehouse where we store a lot of the ale and it's like 
the place where you see all the barrels and stuff like that. Kegs. I also decided to extend the roof so that it wouldn't look like snow or rain was getting inside here. So yeah, I'll be right back when I have a path ready. Too long of a path, I just extended it by three. Then I put this down, which is where this is going to be the width of the warehouse, and there's going to be an entrance right here. Also going to build like a side road right here so that people can walk by when the uh, cart's here and stuff. Not that I'll ever move, but eh, it's all for aesthetics. So I'm going to make it pretty long because it's a warehouse. And I think that's about right. Alright, so I'm going to extend it a little right here. And, alright, so this is going to be, like, the barrels or kegs are going to be long ways like this on either end, and there's going to be a bunch of them. And there's going to be places to pick up ale and all that stuff. And it's just going to be a storehouse for this. When they cook up a batch in there, or, which did I show you guys the inside of this? It's like a little crane right here, and there's a little brew or crucible or whatever you want to call it where you can make some ale. And in the back of here, there's small kegs where you can distribute ale also. But this will be. Um, the storehouse for a lot of kegs so yeah it'll look cool so for the walls oh, I'm lagging. didn't hear any sound I'll be right back it was nothing so for the walls I'm going to sort of have like X's and yeah let's see how it looks first oh Actually, I want to divide this in half. So I'm going to do that and extend it, or make that taller in a minute. So yeah, like that. That's good. Yeah, I'll just toggle in the downfall real quick. And by the way guys, uh, this series won't be timed as strictly as my other series and stuff. So, I get, you can uh, kind of expect long episodes. So, if you don't want to see the whole thing, feel free to skip around. It won't, I won't mind. And... Where, uh, I hate how some blocks are separated. Um, this is going to be a large roof, so I'm going to make it like that. This is all off the top of my head. I'm not copying this from anyone or anything like that. So, everything I'm building here is just coming to me. I'll be right back once I'm done with some of the roof. And I have the roof and a little bit of supports done. And I'm going to finish the wall real quick. Um, let's see. What material should it be made out of? Oak wood? I'll be right back when I figure out one. That looks so far. Um, it's not going to be just flat like it is right now. Uh, but I chose dark oak. And if you don't know, this is dark oak. Because it was something different and it... It's just doesn't, it's not the same color as the roof. And I don't want the building to match. And it also looks pretty good for a warehouse. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with this. And if you hear some bow shots, it's from over there. So, yeah. 
Um, now I'm gonna try to find a way to make this less flat. And I need some stone bricks. There we are. Put that right here. Just to give it like support at the bottom. And yeah. Oop. So what we want to do is put fences around it to give it to give it some more texture to it rather than just being a flat building. This will look good, I think. Yeah. It'll look good on each of these pillars. And I'm gonna do more. Um, let's see how this looks. Alright, yeah, that definitely makes it look better. So I'm gonna do it on this side and the back too. I'll go do the back two real quick. I have the back two now. What? Uh, I still, I'm still trying to debate on what I should do here. I'm thinking about making sort of like a Y, like it goes up and then spreads out and then goes more up in the middle. Uh, actually, does this have a middle? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, no. Okay. Let me figure this out real quick. Uh, I kind of got a design going. I'm going to put in some oak wood stairs right here so that it looks supported like everything else. Also helps give it fatness, I guess. It doesn't look like it's being held up by a thread. And if you don't know what that mean, what I mean by that, uh, you can see here how it's like literally being held by a thread. So, try to prevent that a lot. So, I do this a lot in my builds, and that's good. So, oh, missed one. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. I need to help it at the bottom right here. I'm going to do this. Alright. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Keeps the shape up a little bit. Might want to do something right here. Yeah, I'll put fences right there, too. Alright, I'll be right back when I have this on all the corners. I'm finished with the outside of this for what I want right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add anything. I'm not gonna do the interior of this uh, on camera or anything. Um, I'm gonna do it when I'm done recording. But I'll, I might show you guys in the next episode. It just depends on how, what, what happens. So yeah, um, this is all I'm gonna do for today. I got this and this done. Looks pretty good all in all. And yeah. Uh, that's going to end it for the episode, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.